we are becoming with open mic not very long like think of it as you know youtube shorts or something where after the long talks uh, <laughs> you can share whatever you feel about this event about force united about um, where do you want this community to go we are a small community i can just quickly share my thoughts uh, you know as we start maybe the camera if you want to take it slightly on the side because <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, quickly to start off, right, I mean, this is like in a community, everybody is equal. That is what we should try to do. So um, while we have a great community, great diversity, great talks, great conversations, I think all of us had good fun last two days. Love to hear thoughts of where do you want to take Force United in the coming future, the coming decade? Like, what is your dream for this community to do? Because Force is about contributions. and. Uh, it's not only some people's vision, but all of our vision put together. So, I mean, I would like to see Force United in the next several decades to do great events, bring people together, create a whole culture of uh, positivity in the country, especially because we are an Indian entity. And, uh, you know, it's about society and code and uh, liberation, right? So, a lot of code. <laughs> leading to a lot of liberation, a lot of uh, fun for a lot of people. So that's, and for several decades to come. And how do we do that? So anybody has thoughts? Or you can also talk about this event. If you didn't like anything, liked anything, have a criticism. So uh, we, we have mics around, so just no, raise no, no, a hand. Uh, just, just come forward yeah. uh, and speak. So that is easier for everybody to see. And uh, if, you are, if you want to speak, just maybe you can just stand here so we can make a queue of people who want to speak. So who wants to go first or second? Abhishek. You are already there. Okay, so I think uh, I thoroughly enjoyed last two days. Um, so uh, probably a biased answer because I've been involved in volunteering and kind of fostering, helping out how we can do much better uh, every year or not, not just for a conference, but on a different region level uh, for in fact small meetups and whatnot. So I would like to see more people who are participants here, would like to take initiatives, not just only attending events, and see what kind of, um, when I talk about initiative, it's not about just building projects. Uh, it could be about any social uh, impact that you would like to create, or if there's any problem that you would like to solve using a uh, FOSS, that also includes, I'm talking about policies around and if you want to get started with that. So that's what I would like to see and in fact want to contribute more towards it. So probably in coming months I would like to also see if I could uh, contribute towards uh, understanding policies, how it can help us in, in terms of getting our proper rights or, you know, like how uh, Anupam sir explained in the yesterday's uh, conversation, right? We were not thinking about how AIs are we just talk about responsible AI. We don't think whether it's needed or not. So it's it's not only applicable to AI, but in general, any software that we use and it kinds of uh, takes out the freedom of uh, a human right. So probably I would like to contribute. I am talking from my end. So I would like to see more from people, not just being a techie around and solving or writing features and fixing bugs, but more on the social part of it. Yeah, who's, who's next? Vishal. Uh, so this is, I, I have been with Force United for last more than three years, three and a half almost. And for the first time I am you know, not sleeping while attending the event. I mean, which means I'm not tired. And because of, we have grown, grown, you know, way ahead. I mean, I was not expecting that, uh, I mean, we could do, we could grow, you know, this big and, you know, all, all organic. There was need, uh, you know, we call it product market fit, right, for the startup founders. So, and I'm, I'm you know, I found, f find myself uh, in a 
in lucky position that i ma meet i met you know uh, kalash rusha at the time when you know they look they're looking for somebody who could uh, start contributing start working at foss united you know foss act 2020 was the first thing i did here at foss united and since then you know we have gro grown to lot of uh, you know two full timers lot of interns hundreds of volunteers uh, all of us in you know, all the interns and full timers and rushab kalas deal with in day, day to day day activities that we do it could be the college clubs which we recently started it could be the city chapters like mumbai kochi chennai uh, hyderabad now uh, goa we did the first fast meet up and uh, we have a public policy initiative we give, we give scholarship to uh, fast developer to learn about public policy how it is affect, affecting our daily life uh, we partner with uh, organizations like sflc iff internet freedom foundation to uh, on the advocacy you know and digital literacy side uh again uh, the fossa uh, the future of foss united is still uh we have so many things that we could do uh events is the events are the places which is uh, are highly in demand all of us will agree to it and foss projects i mean we started with the foss grant we recently closed it uh, i mean of course there are a lot of vc money uh, venture venture capitalist money coming in uh so we felt okay it's uh, there are it is been taken care by a you know group of uh, people who have interest uh, we we uh, give hackathon grants uh, college to college students or to to promote foss in their uh, campus we uh, we we do city wise foss conference similar to uh, india foss for each cities we talk to uh, we we attend go and attend you know all of us uh, at fast united and the volunteers uh, i'm i cannot name you know one there are hundreds of volunteers you know we started uh, in in if i remember correctly you know we had rohan from zerodha we had devdat who did first commit uh, and since then i have worked with so many of people who has done so much uh, to uh, to get us wherever we are right now and and i think still the starting and we could do 100x better and i could talk about it now for the whole day i i i think but i like the <laughs> sorry so i like someone else to come and speak and i will pick riya who she is going to pick next <laughs> okay thank you wish you put me in an awkward position <laughs> okay i'm not really that used to speaking openly like this in public but um so i have joined foss united about a year back and started off as an intern and to talk a little bit of uh, about the context i was a uh, sort of starting my final year of btech when i was in sort of like an identity crisis as to what should i do right now uh, because the academia will go on and i was too much involved in uh, another community and i sort of uh, you know that uh, the the grand time that you have as the lead of the community got over i was still contributing back i was still contributing back but uh you know that was sort of like a period and like what should i do next and that was when uh, suddenly random day i get to see this post uh, on social media that fast united is looking for someone to manage their community the mon school mon school program so i joined in as an intern and for the next two months i started figuring out how can i contribute and through that context i learned a lot about the community and uh, then Uh, months rolled on and finally after my after i graduated i joined in full time now i am helping vishal and i sort of look at the programs and the back end side as i call it had fascinated with the tech operations and things 
So, um, so this India FAS has been one of the biggest projects that I've handled. And even with the planning and everything, um, so I talk, I don't, I don't have much context about talking philosophically about the community and all. Um, but with India FAS, what I planned was we had to create this ecosystem, at least the two days we have to create this experience of how FAS is seen by everyone not just discussions, but with experience and uh, everything that includes in. And uh, something that really touched me was how the community sort of stood up. And we have, we have around 30 plus volunteers coming from different parts of the country to take it up. And I really have to thank you all for that. Please give a round of applause. And Organically, how each everyone took ownership sort of makes me feel that, you know, there is so much power in the community and there is so much that we can do forward in future. And that's all from my side. I'm sorry for the brief thing. Can I pick one? Okay. Okay, Hari. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, hi, my name is Nipendra. Uh, thank you for doing this event. Uh, I was there for f just one day, but I was there last uh, last year for two days. It's a great event uh, people are putting together. I just want to have make one request. Uh, let's have some workshop for kids. Uh, being a father now, I think uh, it's a good idea to have maybe half day workshop uh, for kids to start with. Maybe both software or hardware, whatever works. So that would be a good addition and I'll uh, be happy to volunteer next year if you wish. Uh, and second part, just a minor request, please oversell the tickets because uh, a lot of people are requesting for getting the tickets at the last moment. I could not get it, so I got it from my friend. So just a bit oversell is not a harm. I believe people can stand. So if that's OK. 287, OK. <laughs> OK, good. Thank you. So welcome, guys. So, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to be selfish. This is a request to the people who come from Tamil Nadu or uh, Chennai. I see many folks who come from Chennai and Tamil Nadu, but I don't see them uh, to be being active or uh, coming to the Force United Chennai events. We do uh, conduct events in Force United Chennai or other chapters of Force United like Bangalore, Pune, Mumbai, and Delhi and all those. So, please come to our events, attend the events. We do have a uh, city, JS, uh, city conferences yearly ones, and also we conduct events monthly. Come to the events. We have a great speakers. We have great uh, workflow with the networking and all those teams. Come with us, speak with us, and just uh, join us as a volunteer or team, or just be a participant and uh, show your support to us. Thank you. Nandri. Yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, so yeah, as uh, Vishal was just mentioning earlier, uh, there was a program we used to run called First Commit. Uh, it was short-lived uh, because of various reasons, mainly because uh, that's a, uh, what I have observed is that mint, uh, maintainers or people who are uh, trying to mentor new talent into open source, they, f they like burn out over a time uh, when they are trying to mentor over uh, like or the internet and things like that. Uh, and obviously, life takes over, problems happen. So instead, I was thinking like Force United could probably sponsor uh, something similar to what GSOC is doing. And, I, uh, and uh, as we had a discussion today, and Rishabh was also mentioning this idea. So I think uh, there could be a program where there would be incentives for uh, both the participants, that is, be it the, uh, be it the student or the mentee. Not just students. I'm open to. I'm like. I think that we should be open to even uh, in mid-career pr uh, professionals, right? Who are wanting to contribute to open source, but their uh, life has been always in the closed source or in uh, commercial software, and they don't have any idea about how to contribute to open source. Maybe they could also uh, find some uh, like find some time and uh, get mentorship from the community, and uh, and those who actually want some incentives could get the incentives. Uh, so this would be a choice-based system, I think. We need to think about this idea further. Uh, but yeah, that's my idea here. And I just wanted to post it in front of everyone. Thank you.
Hi, uh, my name is Paul and uh, I used to be a coder and then I sort of switched to advertising and now I'm thinking that was a mistake. And yeah, so uh, the reason why I think this, the, I, uh, I'm really glad that I was able to like up to this, uh, you know, event today because like once I switch to this field and like the people that I work around with, like they don't even know what Linux is. And uh, like, you know, if I try to like talk about like some cool app that I found and they'll be like, why, why do you need that? There's this insert proprietary software. And even among like developers that I, I'm friends with, uh, you know, like this, I, I have felt this sort of sense of isolation whenever I'm like, you know, figuring out what, uh, like even when I'm using Vim and all, they'll be like, why are you like doing you know, why are you working on the terminal? Like, you know, that's 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 stupid. Like, you know, there, there's VS Code. I mean, I, I don't want to like, <laughs> whatever. Ha, huh. I mean, there's Emacs also. Like, I, I switch between Vim and Emacs and whatever. So, uh, yeah, so, and I've been trying to like use a lot of those things in the field of advertising and in the field of writing and all. And it's come up with like a lot of backlash and I have like some sense of isolation in that sense. And, uh, you know, like, I come here and like, it's a whole bunch of nerds, you know, and I'm so glad that uh, that community is there and, you know, it's, yeah, so I'm, I'm very grateful for, yeah, I feel like, you know, I'm part of a community. So, thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Manirudh. I have a question for all of you. Why did you individually get into FOSS? All of you might be having different reasons. Uh, some of you like uh, contributing. Some of you think it's cool. The cool kids do it. Some of you are motivated by something like GSOC. Uh, I'll give you some context of what I'm about to speak up. I was primarily motivated by the book Hackers by Stephen Levy of how individuals wanted to push things forward, uh, take personal computing forward and all those things. Uh, I remember reading a post uh, uh, more of a what, how uh, someone felt about uh, FOSS uh, last year, uh, India FOSS last year, I believe it, it was Kailash blog post. Uh, it uh, asked the question, uh, okay, how do we take this energy forward? Uh, we had two days wonderful conference. So I have been thinking about it for the last few weeks on uh, what is a simple take uh, that we can do to take all of this feel good community, whatever efforts we have been doing, uh, so networking, all those things forward. A simple way I would put it uh, is working on ambitious projects. What is something that you can demo in next year's FOSS conference, India FOSS conference, India FOSS 4.0? What can you work on? So ambition is very subjective, right? Some people might say, oh, I'm going to write my own operating system from scratch. That is probably very good, very ambitious. But for someone like me, uh, I, I like to go breakfast. Uh, I'm a more of, a, I don't go very deep into projects. I like a hobby, hopping between different open source projects. I like to know how to learn how to work on different complicated projects. Say for example, uh, uh, there are a lot of people who work on operating systems, programming languages, web dev, mobile dev, infra and all those things, right? But I need to find the community over here in the last two days on those who work on 3D graphics, game development engines. Uh, you might be interested in those who are working on climate change or any other effective uh, uh, altruism projects that are the need of the heart. So my request is announce ambitious projects on whichever social media that you are working on. Call for co-contributors, those who would like to join on those. If you can, try to provide education to those who would like to. So as I mentioned, ambition need not be you pick up uh, projects that are harder than what you can chew. You don't bite more than you can chew. So you can train and mentor other people to get into projects. I'm looking for people uh, who will mentor me so that I can get more deeply involved. So if you pick up such projects, it will feel worth it. And you will look forward to next FOSCONF and you will not let go of whatever uh, we have enjoyed over the last two days. So I'll be posting uh, some ideas that I have and I'll be asking, calling out for mentors. What about all of you? Thank you. Uh, hi, so uh, I, I want to explain you know, the, uh, that idea that he, I forgot who, what his name is, but he uh, has said like about the having, um, expanding the schooling thing, Mon dot school. So I, I guess in the physical space we can have things along with the meetups where people are in incentivized by certifications to do the, do whatever, yeah, do the uh, 
uh, to learn learn the thing, and then uh, they can get a certificate from Force United, which will uh, will be helpful. So it'll be a both sides. Uh, it'll be a yeah, bi-directional thing. Two quick notes. So, one thing is like approximately one in eight in this world is Indian or from India. But if we look at the number of open source contributors in popular projects, like for example Python programming language or Rust, but that's not the proportion which we see. So, what I would like to see FOSS United going is like having more contributors into such popular projects, like making our representation in tech same as our population in the world. So approximately like one in eight in popular open source projects. So that I believe that will give a big give a big push for India as a country in the tech sector. The second one is like document tech documentation. So most documentation which I see is in English or sometimes I also see in Chinese, but tech documentation in regional languages will be super helpful for as all people are not familiar with English and it will also help in understanding things in a more precise and concise way. So that's from my side. Thank you. Um, hi, I'm uh, Kashish. I'm on here on behalf of OSM India, OpenStreetMap India. And I just want to say uh, thank you to Vivek, Adhavan, Sahil, and everyone who put their faith in me that I could teach OSM to people, because uh, they have more faith in me than I have faith in myself. And uh, thank you to India FOSS and FOSS United for, again, for putting their faith in me, uh, that I could add value to the space. Uh, I hope I was able to provide that value. And uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone. So it's a kind of suggestion. Okay, it's a kind of suggestion. So I'm very happy I could see a lot of um, students attended this year in India Force. Uh, so mostly they are from uh, Kerala or Kochi. So I would suggest uh, if this is spread out like uh, when I spread, I, I could see my uh, where I studied. So people from uh, students from that college are also participated. So I would suggest that um, if we could spread the word of this India Force, even in the region, or like this is happening in Bangalore. So it would be great like if we have students from Karnataka also attend and spread the word about it. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm from Mumbai, and I am a digital privacy and security researcher. So that's what got me into FOSS. Uh, and one more thing is that I would like to call it FLOSS. So I don't know if you know it. Yeah, uh, free slash libre uh, open source. Uh, so what is the difference? Libre is like uh, some people confuse free with free or free and paid. So libre is like it gives you the freedom. So the free stand free in FOSS stands for freedom. So that is FOSS. So it gives you the. Uh, opportunity to modify it, redistribute it according to the license. So many people, especially students, are confused when they hear uh, free software. So they think that it's uh, free as in price, but it's not free as in price, but in freedom. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, four freedoms, but yeah. And so that's what got me into FLOSS, and uh, it was nice to meet all of you. I also realized that FOSS is not only about like software. It has uh, connection is, uh, connections in many disciplines. Like I got into privacy and security. That's why I learned more about FOSS. And so, yeah, nice one. Nice to meet all of you. I just want to make a controversial statement that free as in beer is more important. <laughs> because, you know, freedom is uh, something people take, uh, I mean, it's very, I think it's an advanced state of need. I think most, like especially in countries like India, uh, you know, if you think of the economics of FOSS, I think the real important thing of FOSS is that it is like really free, right? I mean, without payment, paying. I mean, so much, I mean, that's why we get started with FOSS. I think out of the FOSS users, I think 99.9% .9 will never see any source code. Uh, and yeah, so that's just a hot take.
Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Anupama, and I have been a volunteer for first uh, India First 3.0 this time. And my educational background is completely different. I do not come from an engineer background, or I haven't done coding as say. But uh, since I started my career after my studies, I have been into companies which who support uh, open source and free products a lot. And um, it's been some time, like a year, that I started working with Frappe. And that's where the essence of force and open source has been, you know, getting instilled. And I've seen people talking about it a lot. And this was the first time where I got into uh, the system and uh, started volunteering with these folks for like two months now. And it's been a good experience for me personally. And over the last two years, I've been going around interviewing a lot of people around here and um, knowing about how they are making an impact in this community and also how they are getting impacted is something that, you know, was very intriguing and exciting to me. So yeah, that's what was fun part for me. And yeah, apart from this, I am looking forward to the next year, uh, which would be 4.0 and volunteering with all of you guys again. And hopefully the community would be bigger that time. Uh, So hello everyone, my name is Harsh and I'm interning currently at FOSS United. Uh, I'm the tech guy of sorts. So there was an, uh, uh, there was an advice that to grow FOSS community, uh, people should make ambitious projects and make them open source and get people to contribute. So on that account, I want to remind everyone that we are launching a new platform, right? Uh, the tentative date is January 2024. And it's open source, it's currently on the repo, uh, FOSS United slash FOSS United, add GitHub on front of that. So yeah, that's the ambitious project that we have currently. And I would like to just thank some people. <laughs> Before FOSS, I, uh, FOSS United, I was at Frappe, working at Frappe, and uh, in my last two months, uh, Rushab actually suggested that I should uh, connect with uh, connect with Vishal and like work on the new platform. So thanks to Rishabh, uh, like maybe I wouldn't have connected with Vishal if you wouldn't have suggested. And secondly, thanks to Vishal and Ria to for being like the best people I have worked with. So thank you. Okay, sir. Uh, so I would like to thank Post United for giving me a stage to be a speaker uh, because I started uh, I joined the Force United when I was a speaker at Force United. Uh, okay, then where I had my first project, Box Eli Maker. I had a terrible time giving the talk because I was my first time. I would like to thank Devdutt, Sejal, Ria, and Vishal, and Mark, Mars, if he's here, uh, for helping me out to get it for giving my first talk. Uh, Kailasana and Rosa Beta for having for making Force United. And also Vishal for always helping me when I had doubts. Thank you, everyone. I think on the policy front, uh, I wanted to you know, uh, say that freedom is not something that we can take for granted. We have to keep pushing for it. We have to keep fighting for it. Uh, you know, Those of you who attended the software patents talk would have realized that this is a clear and present danger for all of us who are working on FOSS. Uh, that's an area where we are deeply engaged with and we'll keep fighting the good fight. Uh, it's been a very hard journey in terms of educating people about the dangers of software patents. The other part of it is that I think there is huge amount of FOSS usage in government and those of you who attended the uh, panel would have realized that uh, new areas of uh, GovTech, etc., which are you know called digital public infrastructure. There's a lot of usage of open source, but not really you know an understanding and appreciation of the principles of open source. So I think we have reached a stage where you know the usage of FOSS has expanded dramatically in our society, but the understanding of the FOSS principles of collaboration, community, shared ownership of knowledge that has not really percolated through society. Uh, working with government is really, really hard because it's like turning a big ship around. But I think it's also, you know, something that demands patience and persistence. 
uh, but it's also something that has got the largest amount of impact on society. So it's something that we'll keep working on. And I'm always looking for volunteers. So this is a call for volunteers. And any of you who are passionate about uh, force in government, uh, force in society, uh, open source, uh, and public and, and you know, issues like software patents, etc., that have affect developer freedoms, please do reach out to me. We are always happy to bring more volunteers into the working groups we have. I'll also talk about the, also I think keep an eye on the forum for the uh, next round of uh, announcement for the FOSS United Scholarships. We, every three months we sponsor a new batch of you know, f uh, engineers to work on the, uh, study the Takshashila public policy course. I think uh, we've had some very good results. I think we've got some, uh, we've got the two Sai's, uh, Sai, Dammaluri and Sai Poruri, who have been, you know, exceptional students of the program. Uh, we we pay for about 80% of the fees of that uh, program, uh, which is around 30,000 rupees, right? So uh, any engineer who's interested in at least understanding what is public policy, please do uh, apply for that. Please keep an eye on the forum for the announcement coming up soon. Thank you. On the what you know, any ideas for India for uh, four point oh, uh, different city? <laughs> How many Hyderabad? <laughs> so, Kochi, yes, Delhi, Mumbai. Yeah. So, should we have India force in different cities every year? Like, show of hands. No, yes. <laughs> how how many yes? How many know? Almost equal. <laughs> we, so, yeah, yeah. So, so we do city level events also. I think we can talk about it. So I think any any city who wants to host that group of volunteers should make a proposal on the forum, saying we want to host India Force in Hyderabad or Chennai or Delhi or wherever. And you know, I think we can take it up that way. One idea I had is that uh, we should have hundred stalls for like every FOSS project with some minimum criteria should get a stall. Uh, so it, it becomes like a fair rather than just talks. So I think uh, you can have deeper conversations and discover new projects. I think I met so many people who are running small projects, did not get a talk. Uh, and then you know you ra randomly bump into them. So maybe if we have tables for all FOSS projects with some minimum criteria, then you know I think that, that will also be like, it become more of a fair and also uh, this thing. So that was one idea I had. Any other ideas? Uh. Yeah, so, uh, so something related to FOSS hack, right? So as uh, Rishabh just mentioned, it's not just about uh, the community coming together and uh, talking about stuff. We also have to create. Uh, I think that was Kailash, uh, sorry. <laughs> so next to Anyways, yeah, so when creating, uh, I am thinking of this in terms of what we do for first hack, right? So first hack is kind of competitive in nature. And that kind of takes away the collaborative uh, part of uh, building in FOSS. So I, I, just, a, just an idea. Maybe uh, FOSS hack could also have like a part where it's uh, the idea that multiple community, multiple projects coming together, uh, talking about what what could get better, and then the competitive part comes later. Like we can think of something along those lines. Yeah, just mentioned it here. Just wanted to add one point to that is uh, we can do sprints for, uh, in fact, contributors uh, during both the days. So instead of I mean, also we definitely have a booth, but we can also have a open spaces or sort of space where maintainers are there and people who are looking to contribute because that would add a more value. So we can do sprints, so that's another idea. Irrespective of how big or small project is, if you want to put a criteria, definitely go ahead and do it, but because that's how we have seen in a few other conferences uh, as well. And we have seen a good number of people coming up and being a mainstream uh, contributed as well due to those small projects. So that would add a more value. Hello. Hello. Hey, hi, everyone. Uh, so one small suggestion I have is we should probably have workshops on separate days 
because uh, otherwise for longer workshops it's uh, we have to split it up over a couple of days uh, which is like not good for context uh, switching so <coughs> it's a bit of a uh, it's a, there's a lot more logistics involved but otherwise <coughs> conducting long workshops is hard because then you would have to miss out on a lot of uh, other talks and other things that happen parallelly uh, even though they are fun Uh, so, okay, on the part of how do we sustain, so we have been so far getting support, financial support, and of course not just financial, but you know, volunteer, a lot of volunteers from Frappe and Zerodha, but we are moving out of that, and uh, we started industry partnership, uh, year-long support, uh, which which you know help us to sustain financially at the same time engage the developers the the, the developers or the com people from the industry partners so uh, this year we have uh, 11 partners uh, we have uh, so we have tiers uh, we are uh, we depends on the amount of sub the, the amount of money company any tech companies or any company who use tech want to give us uh, they get a tier and we show them i mean give them visibility uh, as a as a you know as a uh, as acknowledgement that uh, they help us contribute to us uh, so we have 11 partners maybe uh, i'll try to start from the top uh, if i t yeah thank you so so this is uh, we have Frappe uh, as a plat. Uh, so we have a Frappe as a platinum partner, Zerodha, and New Relic is sponsored for this particular event, India Foss. We have Gold partner, Elastic Run, GitHub, Obvious, Sensible. We have a Silver partner, uh, Julia Hub, Lambda Test, Streak, and we have Hopscotch. Uh, sponsor just for this India Force event. We have contributor uh, as People Academy, uh, and we have hardware sponsor for this event, uh, mostly harmless. Apart from that, we have uh, diversity sponsor just for India Force. Uh, there are multiples of them, but uh, most of them chose to remain, uh, chose to you know support us anonymously. But we have Naveen Pai uh, and. Paper dot ink who help us uh, among six uh, total eight diversity partners and apart from that we have we get we collaborate with dozens of communities tech groups uh, who help us to spread the word in their community uh, so yeah I just wanted to mention this uh, so we, while we're talking about the future of Foss United and why, how we are planning to sustain and the idea is to make sure we keep, uh, you know, most of the participants here run, uh, you know, works for a company. And if you uh, convince with the idea of what we are doing, and think of, and, and you know, and think that you could, your your employer can help us, uh, support us, reach out to them, uh, and and see if they can uh, become our partner, industry partner. Yeah, thank you. So I think, uh, see, um, so I mean, I, as a part of Frappe, you know, I think I feel very <laughs> uh, in an odd position that, you know, I also represent Frappe and Foss United and puts me in a very weird conflict of interest situation. I would really like this community to run independently, right, uh, through memberships. And uh, if we can try and crowdsource the funds instead of relying on sponsors, that would be the ideal because ultimately you become accountable to like a like an organization so so there is fortunate the organization there is fortunate the community and can we merge these two into one right do we just become fortunate the community which is run by the community for the community right um, and for that i for those who have seen some of you might have seen i have a uh, post on the forum that if we can start paid memberships and uh, you know somebody suggested that if we can wean off the zero the frappe and other industry partners then you know it will truly become a bottoms up 
organizations that sustainable i mean may, may not happen this year but that's something that i would like to see and would love to hear if anybody has any views on on this as well Thai Rahul uh, had uh, views, but I mean he's he's unfortunately not here. But um, but this is something we'll I'll try and you know propose and and if this goes ahead, we'll probably start some memberships and see how 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 that goes from there. We are done. Okay, there is a group picture, so uh, on the stage. Hey, we should remove the. Can we can we cut this? Okay, okay. Yeah, then maybe we all uh, meet on the steps for a group picture. I think thanks everybody and you know thanks all the volunteers again. Thanks uh, Vishal, thanks Ria. Where is Ria? Thanks Ria and uh, you know, thanks all the camera people and uh, staff. Thanks. Yeah, see you at 4.0. <laughs>